Hi friends, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is DC and AC machines. And in DC and AC machines, the first concept which I am going to describe you today is nothing but a DC generator. What is a DC generator? Firstly, before getting into DC generator directly, I'll tell you what is DC machines. DC machines are classified into two types, which are DC generator and a DC motor. What is DC? DC is nothing but a direct current. Whereas AC stands for alternating current. For DC current, at any instant, a uh, current will not become zero. Whereas for alternating current, at some instant, it will become zero. That's why we called it as AC. Uh, sinusoidal representation is accurate for AC representation. Like uh, coming into DC machines, DC machines are of two types, which I had explained you, DC generator and DC motor. What is DC generator? Generator. Generator is nothing but which uses mechanical energy as an input and gives electrical energy as an output. That means it processes the mechanical energy and gives output as electrical energy. Whereas for DC motor, it takes an electrical energy as an input and gives mechanical energy as an output. That means DC generator is converse to DC motor. A generator is based on a principle that whenever a flux is cut by a conductor, that means conductors are rotating inside the generator. Whenever these conductors cuts the flux, EMF get induced. At that time, it will cause us current to flow inside a conductor whenever the closed path is created. Then, in order to know the direction of flow of induced EMF which gets created here, that uh, direction is given by a Fleming's right hand rule. Fleming's right hand rule is like this. Um, the thumb finger which indicates the motion of conductor, that means the conductor rotation and uh, Index finger indicates the field which created and the center finger indicates induced current. How much the current get induced? Now, once again, DC generator is nothing but a machine which converts a mechanical energy into electrical energy. This is the principle of DC generator. Whereas, uh, conductors, uh, whenever the conductor cuts, EMF get induced, EMF results to current flow in a conductor when a closed loop is created in order to know the emf induced we have to go for fleming's right hand rule that's it then we have to look after the construction of dc generator construction of dc generator it has main parts main and major parts like yoke commutator armature winding poles armature field weldings and brush majorly there are eight components in this uh, construction of dc generator um, first one which we are going to look after is yoke yoke is nothing but it is the outermost region which provides a mechanical support to the poles and it is in cylindrical shape yoke carries the magnetic flux and acts as a protecting cover for whole machine yoke Yoke is made up of cast iron for small machines, whereas for larger machines, uh, cast steel is used in order to construct yoke. Yoke yoke protects from the moisture and temperature of the outside environment. Then coming to pole, pole is divided into two parts like pole core and pole shoe. Pole core is made up of cast iron or cast steel whereas pole shoe what is the use of pole shoe pole shoe are laminated to reduce losses like iron losses copper losses mechanical losses frictional stray load loss etc pole shoes used for spreading out flux in the air gap because of larger cross section they also support field windings whereas armature windings armature windings are bound in the form of a flat rectangular coils pulled in order to provide a proper shape by coil puller armature conductors are placed 
in armature slots conducted either in lap or wave windings armature windings are uh, placed in two types like a lap winding or wave winding up to now we have completed yoke armature winding pole core pole shoe and the next one is brush what is the need for brush brushes brushes usually collect current from the commutator and it is made up of carbon or graphite bearings bearings are used for continuous operations of machines like for heavy machine whereas uh, it has to process each and every second like uh, it has to rotate for each and every moment whereas high processing of um, data is there for that bearings are used for heavy requirements what is a commutator commutator is used for converting alternating emf to direct emf like it is a unidirectional torque produces here that means alternating emf get converted into direct emf by commutator only now coming into armature armature is of two types armature core and armature slot armature core armature core is used for reducing eddy current losses and it is made up of soft iron lamination up to 0.4 to 0.6 mm and coming to armature slot slots are insulating conductors that are conduct connected and emf gets induced here armature slots are insulating materials because it has to protect the device from other losses field windings field windings are usually used to produce a uniform magnetic field within an armature and these are arranged in a particular format that is no two adjacent poles are same polarity that means opposite will have a same polarity and supply given to this entire dc generator through field windings only the supply we have to give to field windings then only it will excite the entire machine armature windings armature windings are of two types that is lap winding and wave winding in lap winding uh, look into the figure that means each and every wave gets overlapped with the other wave that means uh, the ending position of the first wave will get started with the starting position of another wave whereas for wave windings it is a continuation of each and every wave just an overlap and continuation that means number of parallel paths for wave winding is 2 whereas for lap winding we don't find such a parallel paths um, in particular format that means we have number of parallel paths equals to p and whereas uh, lap winding is usually preferred for high current capacity of machines that means high current rated generators whereas wave windings are usually used for generators less than 500 amperes current that means preferred for low current and high voltage devices up to now we have completed the construction of dc generator and the principle of dc generator the next concept is emf equation what is emf equation emf emf is nothing but electromotive force let us consider p be the number of poles of a dc generator and phi be the flux produced by each pole and units for flux is given as webers and n be the speed of an armature and z be the total number of conductor conductors of armature and a be the number of parallel paths whereas a equal to p for lap windings and a equal to 2 for wave windings which i had already explained in the previous concept of armature windings that is lap winding and wave winding concept i had already explained how an emf gets induced in a conductor that means whenever the conductor cuts the flux emf gets induced which results in current flow when a conductor creates a closed path and the direction of emf is given by fleming's right hand rule whereas now we are going to calculate emf equation 
the average amount of emf induced in each armature conductor is given by e equal to minus n d phi by dt that means emf is directly proportional to the flux created or flux generated with the speed of armature flux cut by one conductor in one revolution of an armature is given by an expression d phi is equal to dp that means we can take it as the flux cutting into number of poles that means phi p time taken to complete one revolution one revolution the time required to complete one revolution is given by 60 by the speed of conductor and we are going to neglect that negative sign now n d phi instead of d phi what we have written here phi p phi p by dt is nothing but 60 60 by n is nothing but n p phi by 60 note one more point that is emf of a generator eg is equal to emf of parallel paths that means emf for conductor into number of conductor per parallel path number of conductors per parallel path in uh, emf for conductor e equals to p phi n by 60 into emf for conductor by number of parallel paths we can also simply write this equation as e equals to phi z n p by 60 into a this is the emf equation of a generator simple problems can be asked on this topic like uh, remember the emf formula of a generator and substitute the values of a n p z you will get the emf of a generator now coming to the topic of uh, types of generator generators are of two types like self excited generator and the separately excited generator which is dc generators in self, uh, self excited generators we have three parts like series uh, shunt and the compound one in the compound generators we also have the two parts like long shunt compound generator and short shunt compound generator we will discuss the types of generator in the next class in depth knowledge of types of generators if you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment below and let me know the drawbacks or else any suggestions or else the next topic to be covered um, if you enjoyed this video share to your friends also thanks for watching see you in the next video